Welcome back to our tutorial video. Now that we have created the cursor object, we can execute SQL queries. Let's start with creating a table. Open the MySQL command line and create a table for storing product details. The table TBL underscore products is now created. Next, let's insert some data into this table. Here, we use the insert statement to add a new product. The execute method runs the query. Commit saves the transaction to the database. This line provides feedback on the number of rows that were affected by the last executed SQL statement. Let's say we have a list of products that we want to add to our TBL underscore products table. We can use the execute many method to do this in one go. Here we create a list of tuples where each tuple contains the details of a product that are product ID, product name, description, and price. The execute many method executes the insert statement for each tuple in the products list. The placeholders percent %s in the query are replaced by the actual values from each tuple. After executing the execute many methods, we call commit to save all the changes to the database. Before running the program, ensure you comment out the previous queries that inserted a single value into the table. This will prevent the duplicate entry error from occurring when you run the program again. Moving next, let's cover how to select and update data in your MySQL database using Python. Let's start with selecting data. We will select data from the TBL underscore products table where the product ID is less than 4. The execute SQL method runs this query on the database. Fetch all retrieves all rows from the executed query. These rows are stored in the results variable. The for loop iterates over each row in the results list. Each row is a tuple containing the columns of a single record from the products table. In this example, each row tuple has three elements ID, name, and description. This line prints the product ID, product name, and description for each product in a formatted string. The percent %d and percent %s are placeholders for integer and string values, respectively. The actual values of ID, name, and description are inserted into these placeholders. This loop efficiently processes and displays each record fetched from the database, giving us a clear view of the products with product ID less than 4. Now, let's move on to updating data in the database. We will update the description of a product with the name printer. This SQL query will update the description field to print output on paper for the row where product name is a printer. Save the changes to the database. Print the number of affected rows using cursor.row count. Let's verify if the update was successful by checking the database. Now, let's move on to deleting data from the database. 
In this example, we will delete a product with the name printer from the products table. As always, provide the SQL query to delete rows from the products table where the product name is printer. Execute the query on SQL and save changes. Let's open the MySQL command line to check if the product with the name printer has been deleted from the TBL underscore products table. There you go. The printer product was successfully deleted from the products table. These steps are fundamental for managing your data effectively. Thank you for watching. And happy coding.